setting of the battle was uh, an old growth longleaf pine forest. And the road that exists today, Flat Rock Road, is essentially the same road. The battle, of course, ended up being a total disaster for the Americans. Essentially, the American Southern Army was destroyed for the second time in four months, the first time being the fall of Charleston. It was a, a, a very hard fight and protracted. Uh, the musket fire must have gone on for upwards of 45 minutes at close range uh, before the British were, were finally able to outflank the Americans and, and break their lines and, uh, and ultimately win a decisive victory. The, uh, the American army was killed, wounded, captured, or fled as individuals or in small groups to the northwest leaving the dead of both sides, the dead and wounded, uh, all over the field. No one was ever removed. Uh, they didn't get up and go home. They are all still right there where they were buried, usually right where they fell, in, in very expedient graves. And indeed, some of the men may not have been buried at all. And some who were buried were so shallow that uh, portions of their bodies certainly stuck out of the ground. After the South Carolina Battleground Preservation Trust uh, got heavily involved with the Camden Battlefield Preservation Process, uh, an opportunity came up, thanks to Doug, to, uh, to do burial archaeology. Okay, as it developed, the project, which was envisioned as a, a small endeavor by the Institute with a small crew, uh, ended up growing tremendously. We ended up with easily four times the number of individuals involved that we had, we had envisioned. And our four-week schedule went to a total of eight weeks, and our five or six individuals that we had planned to excavate ended up being 14 individuals in seven different graves. So of the bodies that have been recovered, we have 12 Continental soldiers, one Loyalist militiaman, and one British soldier from the 71st Regiment of Foot, Fraser's Highlander. As a professional historian, military historian, it's one thing to write about battles, map battles, talk about battles. It's an entirely different experience to watch these bodies come out of the ground to be excavated. I can tell you that everybody involved in this project, the archeologists, the forensic people, the historians, the volunteers, it was an extremely emotional experience, the excavation of each body. And when these bodies were taken out of the ground, they were carefully removed. <clears throat> each body was wrapped, they were boxed, Somebody would say a few words over the remains. Somebody would offer a prayer. And then anybody on the team who was a veteran would escort the remains to the coroner's van. I can assure you that these removals were done respectfully and everyone involved in the project considered it to have been an honor to have been involved in this project. Once the physical analysis is done and there are samples taken for DNA and uh, isotopic study, the individuals will be ready to go into the 18th century coffins that are being prepared by Historic Camden and they'll be ready for their, their trip back to Camden for reinterment. The remains of the 14 soldiers will be transported from Columbia to Camden. We'll pause at Fort Jackson for a short ceremony at the National Cemetery, and then we'll pass by all the public schools between Columbia and Camden. The bodies will be delivered to the historic Camden campus, where they'll lie in repose until Saturday morning. There'll be a concert Friday night offered by the U.S. Army Old Guard, uh, which should be interesting for everyone. The public will be invited for free to attend. 
And on Saturday then, we'll have a funeral cortege that'll move with horse-drawn caissons from historic Camden to Bethesda Presbyterian Church. The funeral service, which will be a joint Anglican Presbyterian service, will occur in uh, Bethesda, outdoors actually. And from there, we'll move to the battlefield for a short secular ceremony where a number of notable people, including the governor, will offer their comments. And then the bodies will be interred, reinterred in the places where they were originally found. This will be a one of a kind event the opportunity to respectfully bury these soldiers that did not have that burial worth respect in 1780. We invite you to come to Camden Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Immerse yourself in the Revolutionary War of Camden, South Carolina and Kershaw County. This is going to be a ceremony that none of us will see in our lifetime again and to do so with full military honors is what these soldiers deserve. And so on behalf of the South Carolina Battleground Trust and our many partners involved in this project, we invite you to come to Camden in April, 2023.